This is Revelation 13 and 16 through 17. And he causeth all, both small and great, rich and poor, free and bond, to receive a mark in their right hand and in their foreheads, and that no man might buy or sell, save he that had the mark or the name of the beast or the number of his name. First and foremost, I'd like to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh. Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shah, Ba'ashem, Rakar, Kadash, Kadash, double honors to the apostles and the elders, a great millstone. Salutation to you, Akim, pushing his word with truth, sincerity, with charity. Presenting your bodies as a living sacrifice. We who are ready to live salute you. So I just want to go into this lesson, okay, about the M A R K. All right, the Karagma. All right, and this is something that we have to drive home, you know, because we're in that time. And also because uh, many false prophets have gone out into the world, right? That are leading our people, as the scripture says, um, my people are led as a flock to the slaughter. I shall no more uh, suffer them to dwell in the land of Egypt, okay? That's uh, the book of Second Ezra, okay? So, you know, we have to warn the sheep, <laughs> You know, as the scriptures tell us to do. All right, and and we're seeing this uh, prophecy play out in these last days. Whereas you have other men who claim to be men of the Lord, who are basically saying that what we're seeing in the world happening has nothing to do with what uh, what I'm reading. Okay, so we have to give the sense and the warning. All right. You know, to get the blood off our hands, you know, and, you know, to save those that are meant to be saved. All right. Okay. So, and as the scripture says, what is then is now. You know, we're, we're um, entering an age of, well, we're in an age of um, um, technology. Um, how can I put it? Um, a technocracy, you know, but I've been hearing brothers use that word a lot, you know, where everything is going to be digitalized. Okay. All right. You even, you know, got certain places where you go, when you go to court, you know, you stand in front of a judge, it's a screen, you know, or you, you know, you, or you're, uh, they even, you know, have court cases over the phone now. You know, you have police cops now. All right, this is uh, the age of a technocracy. All right, and what they want to do is to rebuild or to not rebuild, but to complete the building, which um, the building of the Tower of Babel has never been really completed. Hmm. All right, um, so I have this particular article. I'm really just, you know, going to read the part that is highlighted because that's the point. <laughs> and this is um, basically how the Romans marked their slaves, because as we know, we are in the Neo-Roman Empire. Um, uh, hold on, let me let me come back to this. All right, this is Revelation 13 and 3. And I saw one of the heads as it were wounded to death, and his deadly wound was healed, and all the world wondered after the beast. Now, all right, that um, beast that had the deadly wound, all right, that's the ancient Roman Empire, all right? But we're coming into the Neo-Roman Empire, man. All right, well, we are in the Neo-Roman Empire. All right, and that's that deadly wound being healed. All right, this uh, basically this government structure that we're in now, you know, okay. So as the scripture says, what is then is now. So how would the rulers, all right, now uh, uh, eventually mark their slaves? Well, it's the, you know, let me go into it. So yeah, like I said, I'm just going to read the highlighted part. It says, life of a slave, right? This is the Roman Empire. 
all slaves and their families were the property of the owner who could sell or rent them out at any time. Their lives were harsh. Slaves were often whipped, branded, and cruelly mistreated. Their owners could also kill them for any reason and would face no punishment. So they were branded. You know, I often like to mention the show Spartacus, um, where these men were uh, the slaves, the gladiators were pretty much branded by a certain um, marking of uh, which was the name of that particular house. And uh, this time you're going to be marked, you know, by what the um, elites of this time, which would be the, the elite banking families. All right. Okay. So let me go into it. This is Revelation 18 and 9. And the kings of the earth who committed fornication and lived delicious, deliciously with her shall bewail her and lament for her when they shall see the smoke of her burning, standing afar off for fear of her torment, saying, Alas, alas, that great city, Babylon, the mighty city, for in one hour is thy judgment come, and the merchants of the earth shall weep and mourn over her, for no man buyeth their merchandise any more. The merchandise of gold and silver and precious stones and pearls and fine linen and purple and silk and scarlet and thine wood and all manners of vessels of ivory and all manners of vessels of most precious wood and of brass and iron and of marble. And uh, I'm going to jump down. This is going on um, uh, um, into... Um, all those things, hold on. All right, I'm just gonna keep reading. All right, the most merchandise of gold and silver and precious stones, and of pearls and fine linen and purple and silk, scarlet and all thine wood, and all manners of vessels of ivory and all manner of vessels of precious wood and of brass and of iron and marble, and cinnamon and odors and ointments of frankincense and wine and oil and fine flour and wheat and beasts and sheep and horses and chariots and slaves and souls of men, all right? So just like um, in the ancient Roman Empire, you know, the, the slaves are marked. Pretty much everything, all product, because um, you have what is called, okay, it says universal product code. The universal product code, product code universal, right? Which is uh, implies a one world uh, government, right? The universal product code is a barcode sim symbology that is widely used worldwide for tracking trade items in stores. Okay, so, all right, and uh, all these items, you know, these things that are bought and sold here in Babylon the Great, they have uh, what is called a product code. All right. And that product code can be put into the C hip. All right. It is in the uh, C hip. All right. And that barcode basically uh, adds up to 666. All right. So basically, you're a product. That's why I read this revelation. All these things that are being sold, a part of those things were, sla were slaves and souls of men. So it's no different than um, today, as the scripture says, what is then is now. And we're coming into a time when Esau, Edom, he's going to try to put a clamp on uh, pretty much the earth. He's going to try to put his uh, stamp on the earth. All right. Okay. And when I um, basically when, you know, when you look at how the um, ancient Romans marked their slaves. Okay, what did they do? They put an imprinted mark into the flesh of their slaves. All right, which we look into that word. Uh, all right, we, we go into this all the time. 
you know. All right. But this is the uh, word from Mark. All right. In Revelation 13. In uh, Revelation 13 and 16. All right. Um, I'm going to play it. Strong G, 5480. Charagma. Charagma. All right. Karagma. You know, like we always say. All right. It says a scratch or etching, a stamp, a badge of servitude, or a sculpture, figure, statue, but a graven mark. Okay. Basically, that's what that is, a graven mark. And what did they do you to you in ancient Rome? They engraved, you know, a mark into you. Okay. They branded you. All right. You know, with a, with a particular uh, mark showing you who, who your master was and who you were um, basically belonged to. And as the scripture says, there's nothing new under the sun. Now they have the power to do it. They have the technology to do it, do it um, digitally, you know, by putting that C-hip under your skin and uh, tracking whether you, what, what, all your transactions, what you do. And as the scripture says, you will not be able to buy nor sell unless you have it. So that's going to be what's going to replace the USD or any other currency worldwide. This is going to be a global system. He, Chris says he calls it all. All right. So if he calls it all, you know, you got some people saying it's sin, but sin is the transgression of the law. And these other nations weren't given the law. And we've all seen the fall short. So it just doesn't make sense. You know, <laughs> it doesn't make sense. So, you know, you know, lessons like this, we, we got to do just to drill it in and, you know, keep it um, at the forefront because this is the time that we're in, man. you know. But, yeah, just a little quick lesson I wanted to do. I hope it was edifying. Uh, shalom.